it's time to go back together. I, last night slash yesterday, I got everything all apart that needed to come off, even down to the to the uh, injection pump there. I got that all timed correctly. So you can see the two marks right there. You got one mark on the camshaft flywheel, and then two or the camshaft gear, and then two marks on the injection pump gear. So I got those lined up. And what that does is that just positions the the little uh, the little slot there, the little pin in place. As you can see, it's lined right up with the sensor on top. And the new one is the same way. So that way you're not fighting it, trying to get it lined up again. So that'll that'll go together nice and smooth, hopefully. I also thought I'd uh, show you the contamination here. Didn't really review that in the last video, but if you look close, you can see rust. You can see some rust here inside the injector tip or the injector itself. It's kind of tricky to do. <laughs> yeah, it's a little tricky to see, but there's rust in there, and that's what it looked like in the. Uh, that's what it looked like in the sensor over here at the end of this fuel rail. When I took that one off, it was just loaded with rust. So anyway, we're all ready to start going back together. I like to uh, line the parts up with the new ones next to the old ones so I know what comes off, what goes where, and in what order. So I'm going to start putting everything back together, starting with that injection pump right there. Hopefully, she'll be running today. That's what I'm shooting for. Thought I'd grab a clip here right quick. This is going back together much faster than I thought. Uh, not even quite four hours uh, is where I'm at right now since complete disassembly. So from the injection pump being installed to the injectors and everything almost four hours later here I am uh, so you can see I've got all the injectors in the pumps in everything up here fuel lines and all that everything that was on the ground here is in the driver side batteries in the intercoolers in the reservoirs in got a bunch of cooling lines in the fans back on like I said it's going back together much faster than I thought also all I've got left is all that mumbo jumbo over there and that's it so i have a feeling the intake's going to be a little challenging but i'm pretty sure i can get it and i got a little bit of hardware left up there to find a home for and this thing uh will be running hopefully program the injectors to the ecm and uh get it ready for the new fuel pump i'm not exactly sure what all you have to do for that never done it before but i think it's pretty simple and uh, very important also I have all the injector serial numbers and IQA numbers written down I don't just go by the stickers because the stickers are hard to read like how am I supposed to how am I supposed to know what that IQA code is so I got it off the injector itself itself and wrote it down that way I know for sure what's where and I got all the Got them in the right cylinders and everything. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And that's all for now. So I'll take another clip when I'm when I've made more progress. Six hours later, everything's back together. Almost. I gotta fill it up with coolant, put the wheels back on, and do a few other miscellaneous small things to it. Then I gotta use the VCM with Ford and uh, reprogram the ECM with the new injector numbers. And after that, it should be a little bit of cranking to get the air out, and this thing should fire up and run. I didn't think that was too bad, though. Six hours to get it all back to where it's at now, looking all intimidating and everything. It's really not that bad. Once everything comes off, it's pretty straightforward. But it's all back together. New injectors and new pump, new fuel lines, filters, everything. It's all ready to run again. So I got a little bit more work, put the wheels on. Program the ECM with the injectors, top the coolant off, and we'll crank her up. Wheels are back on, coolant is all filled up. As you can see, we're full on the intercooler reservoir. 
We're full on the engine coolant reservoir as well. Now, all I've got to do <clears throat> is use IDS with the VCM to program the injectors. Once we get all that done, this thing should be good to go. So I'm gonna take care of this and knock this out right now. I gotta turn the key on first so I can start using IDS. some injectors okay the IQA numbers have been written to the PCM fuel system has been bled got all the air out as much as we can let's crank this baby up cycle the key one more time Alright, here we go. Yeah. Oh, she's so much better. So much smoother. Yes, I like it. Uh oh, I got a wrench. I gotta go see what that's about. Gotta see what that wrench is about, but she's running. How about that? Oh, it's beautiful. What a smooth engine. Just floats out of there. Look at that. You can eat off of that tailpipe. There we go. Now I just gotta see what the wrench is about. It's probably just a reset. That's pretty. Awesome. 